Today's scripture reading and word for the day comes from Matthew 14. Jesus has just fed a great multitude and has released his disciples to go into a boat to cross to the other side. And Jesus has gone to a quiet place to pray. And while he is praying, while the disciples are crossing the Sea of Galilee, a great storm blows up. And the disciples are in the midst of it, terrified. And we catch up with them in verse 25 when it says this, And early in the morning, he, Jesus, came walking toward them on the sea. But when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified, saying, It is a ghost! And they cried out in fear. But immediately Jesus spoke to them and said, Take heart, it is I. Do not be afraid. Peter answered him, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. He said, Come. So Peter got out of the boat, started walking on the water, and came toward Jesus. But when he noticed the strong wind, he became frightened, and beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me! Jesus immediately reached out his hand and caught him, saying, You of little faith, why did you doubt? When they got into the boat, the wind ceased, and, and those in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. Now, as we continue in our Lenten journey with Jesus toward the cross, one of the things that we do is to seek to bring our focus onto Jesus. And as a church, we recognize that there are many distractions around us. Um, in these days, it might be fear, it might be worry. Um, whatever it is that seeks to pull us from keeping our eyes on Jesus, we seek to release them. Now, Peter represents the church living in faith, trusting Jesus in the stormy times, getting out of our boat, our safety zone, and moving with him in service to the world, in faith. But this can be scary, and Peter gets distracted. He takes his eyes off of Jesus, and he begins to sink as he's noticing what's going on around him. And so he cries out to Jesus, Save me! Lord, save me! And this is our cry during Lent. That with whatever we're feeling, with whatever is distracting us, we can turn to Jesus and say, Lord, save me. And the text says, immediately, Jesus reached out his hand to grab hold of Peter. And this is what Peter discovered is always true. Whenever we cry out to Jesus, Jesus is right there to take us by the hand and to lead us through. And so may we be courageous, may we be praying, may we be trusting Jesus and bringing our focus to him. Let us pray. God, in these days of Lent, as we seek to release distraction, as we seek to let go of fears and worries and, and focus on you, we ask for your Spirit's help. Lord, we say to you, we need you. We join Peter in saying, Lord, save us. And we trust that as we cry out, you reach out and grab hold of our hands and you lead us through. Thank you for your sure promises. Thank you that we can step out of the boat and trust you and be of service to your kingdom work. We pray this through Jesus our Lord. Amen.